Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you want to create a new company file within Sage 50, you use the New Company Wizard to create your new company file and enter its information. You can start the New Company Wizard by selecting File from the menu bar and then choosing the New Company command. The New Company Wizard displays different windows into which you will input your company's information. The information collected during this process includes the basic company information, the accounts needed within the company's chart of accounts, the accounting method, the posting method used to post transactions to journals, the default accounting periods, and the company file's default values. For each screen within the new company wizard, you enter information and answer questions that are shown. When you've answered all of the questions and input all necessary information within a particular screen, you click the Next button to continue. Note that you can also click the Back button to return to a previous screen of information if necessary. If you need assistance entering information into a screen, you can click the Help button to open a help window that explains what information is required within each screen. When you're finished entering information into all of the screens, you can then click the Finish button and Sage 50 will then create your company's data file. Let's look at the major sections of the new company wizard and what information you will be expected to provide in each section. So at first you'll just see the Create a New Company introduction screen and you can read the information and click the Next button to continue. That will take you to the Company Information screen. Here you need to enter your company's information and you can see the required field of company name is marked with a red asterisk. Also at the bottom it says that note you can edit this information after your company is created. Information that's requested here would be the address, line 1 and 2, city, state, zip, country, telephone, fax, your business type, federal employer ID, state employer ID, state unemployment ID, and your website and email address. Once you've filled in this information for your company, simply click the Next button to continue. Next is the setup screen, and here you choose a method to create your company. Your options are to use a sample business type that closely matches your company, and it says that most companies choose this option. You can also choose to copy settings from an existing Sage 50 accounting company, or you can convert a company from another accounting program, or build your own chart of accounts. And note that that's designed for accountants and advanced users only. In that case, you have to create every account within your chart of accounts by hand. So the simplest way is to simply choose to use a sample business type that closely matches your company, and then click the Next button to continue. Then in the Business Type screen, you can select the type of business that most closely resembles your company. That will then give you a sample chart of accounts, which, as it shows down at the bottom in the note, you can edit these accounts after your company is created. But this will at least get you started. They've got simplified types and detailed types. So select a business type, review the default chart of accounts if needed, and then click the Next button to continue. The next screen is the accounting method, and here you need to choose an accounting method that defines when you record income and expenses on your books. One thing to note at the bottom is that this cannot be changed after your company is created. And here you can choose cash or accrual as needed. When you're ready, click the Next button to continue. Next, you'll see the posting method screen, and this allows you to select between real-time or batch posting. With real-time, your transactions are immediately posted to the general ledger, and Sage 50 will always reflect your most current financial information. With batch posting, transactions are saved and then posted as a group in a second step, so this gives you a chance to review them for accuracy before posting. Most companies choose real-time, 
but choose whichever method is appropriate for your company, and then click the Next button to continue. One thing to note is that you can change your posting method at any time. Next, you'll set up your accounting periods for your company file, and they'll either be 12 monthly accounting periods per year, or accounting periods that do not match the calendar months. Most companies have 12 monthly accounting periods, so select whichever option is required for your company and click the Next button to continue. You'll then need to choose the first period of your fiscal year. And as it states within the window, a fiscal year is your accounting year defined by when you open and close the books. And most companies start their fiscal year in January. So simply choose your month and year and click the Next button to continue. At this point, you're ready to create your company. So it tells you that after you click Finish, your company data file will be created, and then you'll see the setup guide, which can help you enter your first records in Sage 50. So when you're ready, click the Finish button, and Sage 50 will then create the data files that are required. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.